Hi, in this demo you will learn how to use Zappy Shell command line utilities to load your data from relational source such as SQL Server, MySQL, Oracle into Amazon Redshift database in few clicks. Okay, so very first thing you want to do is download Zappy Shell from zappysys.com. It's z a p p y s y s dot com, and once you do that, you will. Uh, you can actually install Zappy Shell as an installer or you can just download the zip file and extract command lines into folder like this. So as you can see there are three main command line utilities uh, and we, the one we will use is aws.exe. Okay? So let's click that and as you can see it comes with the trial. My trial already expired but it, it still works with certain limitation. So I'm just gonna click uh, red shift okay hit enter and as you can see my context change to red shift so all of commands I'm gonna type is related to red shift okay so the first command we will use is exact exact and then I'm gonna supply my script file path alright red shift import from db.txt all right hit enter and we're gonna see all right so what is happening right now is actually taking all my sql server data creating all the files for me it's compressing all the files it's uploading to amazon s3 and then at the final Stage, it's calling the copy command on the Redshift side, and all the stuff is already already taken care for me. So as you can see in the summary, it basically tells you how long each step took. Okay, so you can figure out my most of time went into uploading the files. Uh, so depending on network bandwidth, this is parallel upload process. Uh, you can always customize number of threads you wanna use, but. Uh, Yes, in few seconds it's it's done, right? So now let's look at the actual command. So I can go to my example commands here, and this is what actually looks like to import data into Redshift. So you can this is the custom scripting file uh, for Zappy Shell. So you can use comments in this, and then you can actually put each command each option into new line like this okay so as you can see we use a sql query to extract the data we specified how many records we want in each file all the other options like a staging path what is my target table name in redshift what is my staging area on the s3 okay i want to truncate my target table before load log file the region of my s3 so they make sure your s3 region is same as your redshift cluster okay otherwise you're going to throw you get error so and then your access key secret key for amazon s3 your source connection string so depending on what source driver you use and you can refer to the help file for this so in this case i am using adio.net driver for msql so my com my uh, connection string look like this and then it's a final connection string format for my redshift so as you can see the host is your redshift cluster fully qualified name look like this then your port number your database name user id and password for redshift cluster okay so that's it all right now let's look at how to import data from actual files so you may have uh, flat files already uh, exported somewhere and you want to load those uh, files into Redshift. So I'm going to show you that example here too. So here's the, my example. <clears throat> well, I already have a files exported somewhere and the file extensions like this, part.csv, um, that's it. So pretty much same except the, the first two, three arguments like this. Where you basically say is rather than db you can say file and then you can say source path is this and this is my staging area okay so let's take a look so i'm just gonna 
modify my command a little bit and I'm just gonna say import from file all right it's done so yes in few seconds as you can see it actually use my files and actually compressed before uploading them right so you're gonna save huge bandwidth and it's gonna be much much faster because compressed file is several times smaller than the raw file and then it did all the steps for you automatically all right uh, one more thing I want to show is let's say you want to export files uh, for whatever reason right so you you, you want to export files from your database system you can always use this uh, utility called db.exe and what it will do you can say <coughs> exec and then you specify your script file path and then let's look at the example it's called data export Boom. right so this is so easy to export files into various format like CSV JSON format Excel format and you can specify a bunch of options like you can <coughs> compress files right if you specify zzip option you can split files and it's so easy like just specify the SQL query or table name and specify where you want to export and there you go so with this now you know how to load so millions of row into Redshift in few clicks. So please feel free to visit zappisys.com and uh, go through the various options for Zappi Shell command line utility. Thank you.